Uh, today, we are recognizing Sojourner Truth, a 19th century African-American abolitionist and women's rights, women's voting rights advocate who was born and enslaved here in Ulster County. It was here where the 29-year-old mother took her walk to freedom from Osopus to Marbletown. She walked rather than ran because she knew what she was doing was right. My uh, Sojourner Truth has a soul and she's going to be meant to be engaged by children and elderly people and people of all colors and creeds. In the Year of the Woman, Art in Public Places has an important role to play and as a sculptor, I appreciate New York State's efforts to diversify public art in our state parks. In time, to mark the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage as well as usher in um, this epic worldwide movement towards inclusion, the Journal Truth is relevant today because of her strength, discipline, clarity, focus. She is what today's youth calls goals. The Journal Truth's life is filled with teachable moments because of her tenacity, her fortitude, um, commitment is what turns promises into reality. It's coming through when there is no time, making a way when there is no way, day after day, year after year, time after time. Joseph's life proves that commitment is what changes the face of things. It's the triumph of integrity over racism. The problem of color is worldwide, and my Sojourner Truth is designed to remind viewers that artistry is a powerful, useful tool, tool of social transformation. One people condensing our thoughts, destroying our minds, and renewing our hopes and aspirations. We have a powerful potential in our youth, and we must have the courage to change old ideas and practices so that we may direct their power towards end. It's just a, a great feeling because she would never imagine in a million years that she's being honored like this and recognized. So for me to be here to uh, accept that, uh, you know, endorsement of her, so to speak, like this acknowledgement of her legacy is just, incredible you know it's incredible for me to even know that i'm related to her when the children inquire who was that hopefully the parents will be able to tell their kids who she was and what she did not just for uh Osha county and uh slaves and uh women alike but for humanity